Hi everyone, I'm Ben from Ellie and the purpose of this video is to show you a little bit more detail about how to use uh, our digital tasks and our printable tasks, how to both present them in class and how to administer them uh, to your students. So I'll go ahead and start here by, I'm just gonna click into any uh, section here. So I'm gonna click into this fun grammar lessons. These are meant for kids, uh, younger children. Uh, we, of course on Ellie, we've got all sorts of content for a wide range of ages and levels all the way from children to adults, but I'm for the sake of this video, I'm going to click on uh, something for young learners. Uh, I'm inside of this section here, and when I click into a lesson here, I'm gonna click on Simple Present B, I land on the lesson page overview. And when I'm here, uh, I'll see a description of the lesson, I will see uh, the focus of the lesson down below, we'll also typically see the level here, these level types can be changed from ELD to CEFR or CLB, depending on your region and the, and the types of courses that you're teaching in. But I, I land on this uh, overview page where I get an understanding of what this lesson is about. And um, over on the sidebar here, uh, we've got uh, the PDF and the digital tasks here, uh, which I can also launch right from here from this landing page here. So I'll go ahead and click the PDF version first, and then I'll show you the digital version. So when I open a PDF version, of the lesson. I'll get the PDF uh, right here. It starts with the, the table of contents typically. And down the side we've got the index and I can just quickly jump to uh, something further down in the in the PDF. Uh, but I'll go ahead and just show you that we can also scroll uh, here or I can just jump from one page to, to the next from these buttons uh, down below. Uh, if there is audio with the lesson, this particular uh, lesson has audio, I believe, in the digital tasks, but it doesn't with the PDF. But if there was audio that went along with the PDF, you would see an audio button down here at the bottom as well. I just I clicked on a lesson that doesn't have audio. Uh, now, there's also down the side, there are some tools like annotation tools. So maybe you're presenting this in front of your class uh, with your students and uh, you want to do it together so your students have the printout. Uh, but you've got it presented on an overhead so you could use this annotation tool and maybe you might say so you might select this one here so we might say she uh, is and uh, then we'll go and carry on she's got the japanese flag so it looks like she's japanese and we could do that uh, in front of the class together so there are annotation tools uh, as well or you can type uh, here with the type tool and as well up at the top uh, when you're on the uh, pointer tool, there are some options for the types of uh, the type of lesson that it is. So right now I'm on the Canadian version, Canadian spelling uh, for this lesson. If I click that flag, I can switch it to the American spelling. And sometimes we have the British spelling as well, depending on the lesson uh, that you're in. So you've got those options there. And then we also have versions like the teacher version and the student version. So the teacher version includes the answer key way down at the bottom. I'll click this answer key. Uh, there and I think it also includes the flashcards uh, as well that you could print out um, and the student version here if I click that that I might want to print out it's identical except if you'll notice over on the side here it does not have the answer key or the teacher's notes uh, over here on the bottom so that's the main difference I can also print from here or download uh, the lesson and I can share this lesson with my students as well so I can copy this link and I can paste that link into Moodle or Canvas or uh, send it as an email and my students when they get that link if they click it they will uh, land on a tokenized link page uh, that asks them to log in and then the PDF will be there and it will be ready for them to print and it will always only share with them the student version so even if you're on the teacher version uh, here let me switch back to that even if, I'm, even if I'm on the teacher version and I click share it's not going to share that teacher version it's only going to share the student version. So that's the PDFs. On the side I can also jump to tasks here and I'll go right into a task player and uh, I can present this task to my students. Also if I've assigned this uh, task to my students and I'm not going to go into how you assign uh, uh, lessons to your students in this video there's another one that shows you how to do that but assuming that you've assigned it to them they will see the same stuff that you're seeing here uh, as a teacher. So the tasks are all down the right hand side, pardon me, the left hand side here, and um, I can jump from one task to another right, right there. So in this particular one, they're learning the countries, and it's just a flashcard or presentation where we're asking what country is this? It's Mexico. What country is this? It's Canada. Uh, then we can click into other things here like uh, multiple choice questions here. These are pronouns. So I, uh, I click that and go on, um, and uh, matching exercises as well. 
so all of these tasks are down the side here, um, and I can do them with my uh, class together. Oops, let's change that to she is Brazilian. Got a right answer there. Um, and uh, as I present, my students can follow along just on the overhead, or if you've assigned it to them by adding it to the class up here, then they can do it on their own devices uh, as well. So that's a, a look at the, the task player. If there is this little Apple icon next to something, it's going to give you the answers. So you can see those answers in advance. Uh, if you want to see them before presenting uh, to your class, you can see what's right and what's wrong. Sometimes it's helpful to see those answers before presenting. So anytime you see the apple there that's not grayed out, that means there are answer, there is an answer key and um, you can view it there before presenting. So that's a look at our task player and our PDF player. If you have any questions, just reach out to us anytime and we're happy to help. I hope you're enjoying using Ellie and um, please stay in touch.